for you. Are you ready? Repeat after me. God is good. God is good. All the time. When? All the time. God is good. God is good. All the time. All, the All together. Time. Well, God's filled with compassion. God's love is everlasting. God is God is good. God is 
God is good. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. God is good. All the time. All the time. Well, God's filled with compassion. God's love is everlasting. God is good. God is good. All the time. God is good. Well, okay, we usually have to wake you up, but we don't have to wake you up today. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Karen. Good morning. Welcome to Unity of Walnut Creek. My name is Don Shaw. <laughs> Happy Lunar New Year to everyone, especially our Asian friends here at Unity in the Bay Area and throughout the world. And this is the year of anyone? Rabbit! Like 80% response on that. Oh, yes. <laughs> the celebratory lanterns illumine the entire world and all of humanity. This is the Don and Danae show, and my name is Danae Lucas. <laughs> right there. Welcome to our service. Does anybody know what today is? What is today? Yes! yes. Okay, if you are born in February, Mon please stand. There's a couple, yeah. Don't you folks at home wish you were here? Now, no, let's all seriously. turn to the camera and wave at our friends at home. Hey, friends at home. Your presence adds to our spiritual community. Thank you for joining us. Please join me in welcoming our guest mus musician, the incomparable, the fabulous, the repeat performer, one of our family, Karen Smith. <laughs> Joined by our older brother, David Brooks on keyboard, Dusty Proc on bass, and Dan Cueva on drums. And the magnificent Lisa Snortum Phelps is our Unity Song Leader today. Thank you for sharing your music with us today. And Dr. Brian Swim will be delivering today's message. Yeah. Today's message is entitled, The Cosmological Power of Synergy. Brian will also lead a workshop this afternoon. More about that later. Before we <laughs> begin, I invite you to turn your cell phones to silence so we can enjoy this sacred time together. Mm. <sighs> <sighs> now, let's take a moment to be grateful for the land that our center rests upon. This is Bay Miwok and Ohlone land. We honor its ancestry, and we look out at that beautiful green lawn and that mm. beautiful sunshine, and we're grateful for those who came before us. We commit to taking care of these sacred native grounds and Mother Earth. Unity is a positive path for spiritual living, and our vision for the world is we envision a spiritually awakened world where all life thrives in conscious oneness. Our mission is who we have come here to be, and let's say this together. We, we are, are a loving, inclusive, inclusive community, community, expanding and living our divinity in sacred service for all. Our core values are love, protection, service, and wisdom. If you're here with us for the first time, welcome. And if you feel comfortable, please raise your hand so we can give you a welcome packet. Wonderful, thank you. Hello. We're so glad you're here with us today. Absolutely. We invite you to visit our bookstore across the patio after the service to receive a welcome gift. And we hope, if it's not raining, that you'll choose to stay and visit on the patio after the service. Thank you for coming. Connection cards, those little great things, are available in the uh, newcomer welcome packets and in the seat pockets in front of you. And these are for everyone. With this card, you may submit a prayer request, and our prayer team will pray with you throughout the week. 
You may also share feedback or request information, and please place your card in the basket with the offering. And for those of you viewing online, connection cards are available on the Watch Live page on our website. We have more than a few exciting activities to highlight this week. Humans are spiritually evolving into what our guest speaker, Dr. Brian Swim, calls noospheric consciousness. Can you say that? Noospheric consciousness? Okay. Um. So if you want to know what that means, join us today at 2 p.m. for a workshop with Dr. Swim. He is a celebrated speaker and the creator of Journey of the Universe, broadcasted on PBS. Don't miss this chance to expand your consciousness. Choir is back. Choir is back. Choir is back. <laughs> Lift your voices and join in the joy of singing in community. <laughs> the sing <clears throat> spring choir season includes eight weeks of choir practice and a performance on Easter Sunday. It begins on Monday, February 13th at 7 o'clock, and pre-registration in the bookstore is on there or in our website. And please see... Lisa Snorton Phelps for any more information. Yahoo! <laughs> Is there anyone here, anyone at all, anyone at all, who would like to bring your spiritual, financial, not quite yet, <laughs> and personal life to a new level? <laughs> If your answer is yes, stand up and jump up and down <laughs> because you can join Dimitri Doronkin for his six-week prosperity class. You will explore an ancient spiritual practice that has the power to change your life in unimaginable ways. Please sign up on the patio or send an email to Unity, excuse me, office at Walnut Creek. Well, start again. No, you do it. Office <laughs> at unityofwalnutcreek.org. Isn't she wonderful? Uh -huh. <laughs> and now, would you like to explore and learn more about your own divinity? Who wouldn't? Would you like to find unity with God and the limitless potential of healing? Join Bob Hardy on Thursday evenings to discover the power within you, and it's based on the novel by Reverend Eric Butterworth. This will be an in-person class where we can share and grow in spirit, health, and community. And you can sign up on the patio or send an email to office at, at unityofwalnutcreek.org. Unity Very good. <laughs> I like second chances. Uh -huh, me too. Or third. Or Beginning <laughs> Tuesday, Fe February 7th, which is this Tuesday, the Spiritual Growth Circle will be meeting in the sanctuary in person, 100% in person. Uh, so please come and join us at 7 to 8.30 p.m. Any fifth Tuesday will be a day off without pay. <laughs> we, we share our hearts in insightful conversation, often usually sometimes based on the Sunday message or whatever is on our hearts on that particular uh, evening. Uh, it has a cast of rotating facilitators, so... Give us a try. And now I would like to invite Casey to the platform for some exciting news. Come on, Casey. Yeah. Hey, Casey. Party's here. <laughs> Where do you go to find friends, fun, food, and dancing? Woo! The Crab Feet, of course. Join us February 18th from 6 to 10 p.m. There we go. Uh, at the Pleasant Hill Senior Center, where we would gather with our Unity family. You can get tickets on Eventbrite at our bookstore or at our bookstore today. There is also play date opportunities available on the patio this morning as well. See you there. Thank you, Casey. Please see our website for a full listing, registration and login information for all of our events. And you may also pick up flyers on the patio and register for events in the bookstore. <sighs> Let's all take a deep breath. As we prepare for our time of meditation, please join me in taking a conscious breath <clears throat> and affirming our statement of faith together. There is only one presence and one power in the universe and in my life, the all-loving goodness of God. We will begin with music, followed by a guided meditation and silence. Thank you. 
Return to me. Return to me. With every breath, return. Return to love, return to love with every breath, return. Return to peace, return to peace with every breath, return. Return to love, return to peace, with every breath return, return to love, return to peace, with every breath return. We breathe in love, we breathe in peace, divine love, divine peace. And as we breathe in, we go deeper and deeper into our heart, the love and the peace in our heart. And we found that we don't have to return because we've never left that divine love and that divine peace. We breathe in peace. We breathe in love, peace, be still, peace, be still. And as we go into the silence, peace, be still.
And in that divine love and peace, we unite. We are one. In that divine love and peace, we are nurtured. In that divine love and peace, we are healed. We send blessings. Blessings to the earth, the waters, the sky. Blessings to the animals and plants. Blessings to all the people. Blessings to the stardust. We remember peace. We remember love. And we are one. And so it is. Return to love, return to love with every breath, return. is going to join me for this next song. <laughs> this song is Oya oh Heya. Yeah? <laughs> and you all have a part, and Lisa will be singing it, so feel free to jump in and join if you know it. Even if you don't know it, you'll get it.
I think you have some of your choir members, Lisa. That was great. Thank you. Is that it for today? <laughs> I meant for the music. <laughs> I have teacher aid in here. Did I pack it? Oh no. Yes. Isn't that a beauty? Any guesses? What? Yeah, meteorite. Meteorite. Uh, <clears throat> it hit in South America. Uh, it left a big crater. This was at least part of it. Uh, it was given to me as a gift. And <clears throat> I just wanted to start off with this. The, uh, so it had been... It had been circling um, the sun for approximately 4.75 billion years. <laughs> and then, bang, it hit, it hit us. Now, the, um, what, what I wanted to dwell on with this was uh, five billion years ago, um, uh, all of the atoms that constitute your body were in, the, in this form. So this, uh, the, the atoms of your body, and mine, mine too, <laughs> I'm no different. The atoms um, were constructed by a, a star, actually one of three stars that, that exploded something like five billion years ago. The, um, so we have, there's oxygen, there's phosphorus, there's silicon, all of these atoms, one by one, uh, were constructed uh, in these stars, then exploded, spread out, and then they gathered together um, in this, the form of this meteorite and our bodies. Now, the, the whole point of my, my talk is um, what is the power that enabled us to become in this form and not remain in this form? You know, I'm not denigrating you. We're relatives here, okay? <laughs> it's just like you're on a slower developmental arc than we are. Don't feel bad about it. But the, um, I mean, this, these, this kind of, of question uh, has been asked by humans for a long time, and I'm simply uh, presenting the current uh, scientific understanding. But I, in no way am I... Uh, disparaging previous attempts. I think our scientific uh, method is also an attempt to understand the nature of things. And so there are some insights uh, concerning this that I, I think might pertain to um, our daily lives. So that's what we're going for. Thanks for this water. All of us are composed of the powers of the universe. There is only one power in the universe, but it has a variety of manifestations. This morning I talked about the power of allurement, the cosmological power. And now I'd like to talk about the power of synergy, yet another power. Synergy 
And I think if I had to name one power that is, that is um, no, I mean, it's really an amazing power. They're, they're all great. But synergy uh, can, be a, can be defined. I'm going to give some examples, but just to get the definition out right away. Synergy is uh, a, an effect, a beneficial effect, that is only possible because of a relationship. The beneficial effect would not exist if the components were separate and not in relationship. So it's really it's synergy and relationship, cooperation, harmony. These are getting at the, the same power, but synergy is the, is the scientific term. Uh, my favorite example, I have, I have several, just as a way to get, in, get in a feel for it. My favorite example involves um, elementary particles. The, the three main elementary particles are protons, neutrons, and electrons. And so, and so I want to talk about that. But <clears throat> before I get into the details, I... I want us to become aware that, that we are all forms of consciousness attempting to understand something. And we, we uh, most of us here are Americans and grew up in Western civilization. And so we, we naturally think in terms of individuals. When, uh, when European sociologists uh, came and visited the United States when we just formed, one of, the, one of the things they noted as being very distinct from European civilization was individualism. We're really big on the reality of the individual. And that's been tremendous. We, you know, we have an economic system that's based on it. We have a governmental system that's based on it. It's been tremendous. But it, the, because we're so used to thinking in terms of individuals, we tend not to realize the power of relationship. We don't see that as, as important. Synergy is all about relationships. So that the, the reason I started off with elementary particles is, is precisely because we can think of them as individuals. But, so here's a neutron, and we study it, and we learn all about it, and we, and we, we think we, we've got it. We know what that neutron is. But uh, here's... What we've discovered is a neutron, if it's left by itself, will disintegrate in 15 minutes. So that's the nature of a neutron. You, you know, you leave it alone, it, it falls apart, you know. <laughs> but now take that, that, take that neutron and bring it into relationship with a proton, and it can exist for a billion years. Which is the real neutron? You see, now this is, I, I just find this so fantastic because in other words, I think of, of knowing who I am. I'm this person, does this and that and this and that and this that. And no, then I meet Denise, right? And I discover who I really am because these qualities are brought out in relationships. So the neutron, the neutron that disintegrates by itself and the neutron that lasts for a billion years is, is a neutron. It just, this is the, this, this is the power of synergy. So th this is the power of synergy. So we had these, at, in the beginning of time, we had a, a, a gigantic um, a world of, of plasma, just the elementary particles. And synergistic event after synergistic event took place, and here we are. So there's my favorite. Uh, the, the nature of the neutron can only be, a, can only be, discovered by looking at its relationships and the creativity that comes forth because of the relationships. So, I, and as I say this, I'm, I'm hoping that you're thinking about what relationships uh, you might have that are like the neutron and the proton together, and which ones, are, and how are you sometimes just like the neutron by itself? I'm trying to make that connection. Here's another example which, um, you know, you, 
Planet Earth invented life three and a half billion years ago. And for three billion years, for three billion years, life existed as single cells. All of life was unicellular. And then starting around, you know, starting around um, 500 million years ago, the cells began to get together. They started to form relationships. Now, you have to keep in mind, we're talking about a form of life that's smaller than the sharp end of a pin. And they started to get together, and they, they formed relationships, and they developed through time, and then we had whales. <laughs> and then we had, we had kittens. Now, just, just imagine if you could go back and, and found a way through meditation, meditate for 20 years, and you can learn to talk to a cell, right? And it's getting involved with these other cells, and, and you go up to it and you say, do you realize you're in the process of creating a whale? No, no, obviously not. But you see, but that's what we're like. We don't know what powers are going to come forth as we enter into deeper synergies. That's, that's the main surprise. And you see, when we, when we take our minds and we, we cast them backwards and cast them forwards, and then we, we think about the, the way the universe was in the past using our minds, we have to remember that our minds are also evolving. So our pictures of the future, like right now we, we live in a time when, when we are deluged with doomsday scenarios. I, I don't know it, how much of the, the suicide rate among the young, the, the addiction, how much of that is related to this bleak view of the future. Well, that is, that's what I'm trying to address. Our inability to see what is coming, what we are bringing forth by a deepening synergy. At, at the very least, we need humility and, and not, not to cave into uh, this, this idea that we understand things so well we can predict what's going to happen in the next 100 years. We, we simply can't. And to, it helps me to remember those, those tinier than a pinprick organisms. And just imagine if you could get them to talk about the, what the future has for them. You know, at one time, the whole earth was, was um, covered with oxygen, which at that time was poisonous to the single-celled organisms. They couldn't exist. In an, in an oxygenated uh, atmosphere. So they, they, they would have nothing but a very bleak view of the future. And, and, and yet, and yet, out of that, out of that challenge, uh, they developed a synergy called the eukaryotic cell. The eukaryotic cell has a, has a nucleus, and it's a, it's a far more powerful, amazing cell than the prokaryotes, and no one saw that coming. Okay, I, I guess I think I've said that enough times, but you see my point. All right. Um, <clears throat> I, I want to give a, a, a sort of a, a kind of a, a real simple um, example of synergy, and, and that's with the emperor penguins down in the South Pole. They, um, if you take th this, I'm, I'm tying this to the neutron. Example, if you take a, an emperor penguin and, and you just place it um, in the South Pole by itself, it will die during the winter. But if you, if you bring the, the emperor penguin and you put it in a group of them, it will exist through a, for year after year after year. Why? Because they invented a way of relating to one another that's called milling, milling, um, Try this sometime with your friends. So you, uh, 
you, you mill around, you just imagine your penguins, and it's like it's 80, degro- 80 degrees below zero just outside, you know. But in the middle, it's really nice. But you, and they've learned, they worked it out so that for a while you're in the middle, then you're pushed out to the edge, and it's freezing cold. And then you go back, back into the middle, and that whole system, the synergistic system, can exist and thrive well there. So uh, we, we, we live in a time of spectacular opportunities for synergy, unlike anything that's come before. You know the details, but I, I, I just say, let's think about this uh, in terms of our moment in time. We, by, by synergistic opportunities, I mean entering into deep relationships with human beings who have, who have wisdom and knowledge that is other than our own and even, even quite different from, our, from what we're used to. The, uh, an exam- uh, really, that really hit home to me was this, the, the Parliament of World Religions. The Parliament of World Religions was, was an example of the mixing, the synergy that can take place. The first one was in 1893. And uh, it took them y- like years to plan it out and then to raise the money to bring people in. You know, they had to come on, you know, on horseback and caravan and train. And, you know, there weren't that many um, airlines. Was it, like, you know, that was, forget that, but ocean liners. And they, so they brought, but they had representatives from, from all of the different cultures with their cultural wisdom, getting together, comparing notes, talking. So then in 1993, they, they said, let's do that again. It'd be the 100th year anniversary and what they found is that they could find representatives from all of the world's cultures right there in Chicago. Yeah. So that, so that with, this kind of, with this kind of synergistic interaction, we're giving birth to a new form, a new form of humanity. Now, that might sound grandiose, but, but, but in fact... <clears throat> Humans have been giving form to new forms of humanity throughout. We are the species that can reinvent itself without changing its anatomy or physi- physiology. Chimpanzees and humans were identical six million years ago when they split apart. We're still 99% the same humans and chimpanzees. But yet, look at the explosive difference, the explosive difference between the other apes and humans is what the noosphere is. Just in, in 20 seconds, we have the, the, the um, elements coming together and forming a molten planet. That's the geosphere. It gave rise to life, which spread over the planet, the biosphere. Then there's this emergence of a thinking ape with conscious self-awareness which spread over the planet, the noosphere. The noosphere is the context in which these deep synergistic activations are taking place and will continue to take place. And let me, let me just end with um, one last line that will connect directly to your work here at Unity. And that is, when you look back, you look back over the 200,000 years of, of human uh, existence, Homo sapiens existence, the, the worlds that were built, the civilizations that were built, were built by the optimists. And, you know, Unity is about optimism. It's a, and, and I... The, um, this will be my final statement, that every, every, every one of the cosmological powers is present in each of us. But like I say, some of them are more strongly present because of how we're raised and, and so forth. And they have different characteristics uh, that are expressed 
in human personality. So the, this morning we did allurement, and the, 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 the prime quality of a human being that's allowing the power of allurement to enter into conscious self-awareness, the primary quality of such a human is a great passion for the world. And the, the primary quality for, for those of us that allow synergy, the power of synergy to enter into conscious self-awareness of humanity is optimism and hope. Thank you. Well, it's good to look out at our family. <laughs> Thank you, David. First service, I got the opportunity to be here and we talked about attunement and how this group of people definitely are attuning and coming together. And now synergy, that is definitely what's happening. So I'm inviting everyone to a milling party later out on the patio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And you long-timers know that this uh, once had a synergistic school. That's right. Right, David? That's right. Synergy school right here. Synergy right. school started here. Yep. <laughs> Our prayer chaplains are available after this service to provide personal prayer support. If you are a prayer chaplain serving today, please stand. Thank you. We've got a big crew today. Our prayer chaplains wear the lavender stoles. Whether you have a joy or a concern in your heart today, praying with our prayer chaplains is a powerful opportunity to have your intentions raised up in consciousness. Mm -hmm. Now let's open our hearts to the practice of giving. I invite you to prepare your gifts as we align with the universal law of circulation. As we give, we shall receive. In truth, there is no lack or limitation, abundance, is our true nature. And for your convenience, there are a variety of ways to financially give to this community. Remember checks and cash? We used to use those. You now may download the Give app, <laughs> right? Scan the QR code on the back of the yellow card. Okay, you got some money there? No, I have a, che I have a okay. check right here. There you go. Um, you can uh, scan the <clears throat> QR code on the back of the yellow card that is in the back of each chair at, or set up bill pay through your bank. And those of you at home, you can click on the Donate button on the Watch Live page. I invite you to take your tithe or offering in your hand and repeat our affirmation. Together, divine love, one with me, blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. I am joy-filled and grateful. of this too if you get it. Pick it up.
surrounded by a friend the source of all creation allows me to begin the source of all creation allows me to begin again Alle, alleluia Alle, alleluia Alle, alleluia Alle, alleluia Alle, alleluia Alle, alleluia Surrounded by your presence Surrounded by your friend The source of all creation Allows me to forgive The source of all creation Allows me to forgive again Alle, alleluia Alle, alleluia Alle, alleluia Alle, alleluia Alle, alleluia Alle, alleluia Surrounded by your presence Surrounded by your friend The source of all creation Allows my heart to sing The source of all creation Allows my heart to sing again Alle, alleluia 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 Have a beautiful week. Is the workshop in this room today, or is it in the community room? In here. Ushers, you want to come forward? As we bless this offering, we bless the giver and the gift that it may go forth and multiply and increase in good in our lives and in the lives that we touch. So please say with me together. We, we give, give thanks, thanks for the, the ever-increasing, ever constant flow of absolute good in our lives now. these beautiful little souls that are joining us. What did you guys do today? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> do you want to say your names or should I try? <laughs> what do you say? You want me to say them? Okay. We got Caden and we got Annie and Madeline and Amelia and Katie and Jimmy down there. And then we also have Alan and Elijah who were a little shy to come up on stage, but were okay. joining us today. Yeah, good morning. So we were practicing breathing like a bear today. And it's real simple. You guys want to try it? I think, okay. So this is, this is how you do it. You just take, first you pretend you're all cozy in your cave. Okay, so just... Let's get cozy. And we built a really big, cozy cave. And then you just breathe in through your nose, nice and deep. Ready? And you breathe out. And then you growl a little. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Ready? In through your nose. And out. 
<laughs> when might we want to breathe like a bear, kids? We had a couple examples, yeah. Um, when you need to calm down. When you need to calm down, yeah. And you might want to calm down when you're feeling upset or when you're feeling excited. When else might we want to breathe like a bear? When you can't fall asleep. When you can't fall asleep. So you could pretend like you're cozy and you're bear in and take those bear breaths and just hibernate for the night. So that was our, our bear wisdom for today. So thank you all. Let's bless our children and our teachers together. Children, youth, and teachers, we love you. We bless you, we appreciate you, and we behold the divine light within you. Thank you. <laughs> Please join me in the prayer of protection. Together, the light of God surrounds us. I am light. The love of God enfolds us. I am love. The power of God protects us. I am power. The presence of God watches over us. I am presence. Wherever we are, God is and am divine. And now our peace song. the light, the love, and the peace on earth right now. Oh, no. So let your light shine, have, have fun, fun, and spread joy. joy. Thank you. Thank you.